And all right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the self-developed YouTube channel. I almost knocked over my mic right there. Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day. As always, guys, comment below where are you from, what time is it, hashtag self-developed army, because we are an army in this bitch, guys. It was uh, golden hour out, like, I mean, or at least close to it. The sun was beaming, but literally as of like five minutes ago, once I pressed record, it just it went away and now it's overcast. So nonetheless, we have these moody vibes. Let's get this video video going. See you inside. So guys, with that said, in today's video, I titled it, or believe I titled it. No, I titled it. Three physical red flags in women. Okay, guys. Now I've made a video on this. If I remember, I'll link it up here. Um, probably a few weeks ago, back when I was going daily, I believe it was just titled three red flags in women. Now again, guys, as a little disclaimer, I love women. Uh, any video I make, uh, really regarding women or not guys is for the congruency for the building of relationships between man and woman I truly believe this is one of if not the biggest uh, telltale signs or just factors that will enable our society as a whole to flourish guys you have to understand that before we move into the macro societies we have relationships which are just smaller societies nuclear families and statistically speaking when we have nuclear families a mother a father and a child the chance of that child's success astronomically improves so anytime i make a video like this it's not to degrade women or men or anyone no but i do need to call out certain things in ourselves and in women so we can avoid uh potholes that clearly <laughs> we we live in, our society is degenerating more than ever, so hopefully this video can help. Anyways, guys, straight to it. With that said, the first physical red flag. Now, the reason I said physical is because these are like physical traits or physical things that you can spot out with your eyes uh, from the get-go that will enable you to, you know, stay away from particular women or at least keep your guard up so we know moving forwards. Physical red flag number one, guys. This is the obvious, or maybe it's not so obvious to you guys. I don't know. Um, women with a lot of tattoos. Now, this has been dawning upon me tremendously the past couple weeks. I mean, this entire video, all three traits, tremendous. Tremendously, like God's been like screaming in my face, make this video or explain this because I, I don't know what it is. I've just seen it so clearly more than ever. And I think all of us are now. So I'm sure you guys can relate. Now look, okay. I know there are going to be a lot of dislikes because women uh, with tattoos are going to say, David, you know, my body, my choice, I can do whatever I want. You know, who are you to judge? And you're right. You know, who am I to judge? You don't have to believe me. You don't have to take my opinion, but I'm just letting you know through my experience, guys, both anecdotally and statistically, these are some red flags that you should look out for. The reason for this, guys, is because when women have a lot of tattoos, generally speaking, this is a sign of rebelliousness, right? And now you may think again, David, women and rebelliousness, why is that an issue? Because you as the man, as the gatekeeper, as the head, as the leader, like I've said many times in this channel, there's a lineage, guys, okay? It goes God, man, woman, child. And the reason that lineage ensues or works that way is because that is the order or the rank of what? responsibility. It's not because men are better than women or because, you know, there's some ego fast. No, not at all. It's because when shit hits the fan, men bear the burden of responsibility. Now, the reason we don't want women who are below us in the rank of responsibility, guys, to be very rebellious is because we, you can't lead or guide someone who just continuously wants to go their own way. Uh, being rebellious is in a man's nature, not because men are trying to necessarily revolt, but because that is how men lead, re <laughs> lead rebellions, right? I mean, any rebellion, any arm, army, any tribe that has really ensued to go against the status quo, uh, predominantly speaking, was run by men. Why? Because men bear the burden of responsibility. I mean, if these men get caught, they get killed. Okay, uh, I can't remember the last time I've seen a woman lead a rebellion, I mean, besides feminism, which has completely degenerated and ruined our entire society, which, little fun fact to you guys, it wasn't created by women, so there you go. Anyways, guys, with that said, stay away from this. It's also a sign of non-purity, if that's a word. We as men, guys, okay, I'm just telling it to you guys straight. I have no time to beat around the bush at all. You guys know we don't do that here. We want women who are clean, okay? The reason for that is because a woman who is clean, she's submissive, she is able to um, follow your lead as a man. That makes both of your lives easier. It doesn't, I know that sounds very oppressive, guys, because of uh, the way our society is manipulated and used words as weapons. There's nothing oppressive with that at all, guys. I mean, a woman submitting to a good, strong leader, just as a man submits to God, right? We submit to a good, strong leader ourselves. That is the most beautiful, hierarchical, uh, system there is to life. That is nature in its purest form. I mean, similar to the wild guys, the reason there is a totem pole, right? There are, we learned this in like grade two biology. There's like carnivores, omnivores, 
herbivores or, you know, and then there's like mushrooms at the bottom. Like th there's a rank, guys. This is how our society and evolution flourishes because this influences this and this influences this and like mosquitoes influence spiders and then spiders. It's like a symbiotic relationship. That's where I'm going. When a woman can submit to a good man, it allows the man to then take charge and lead both of them. Men, guys, you know, despite what our media or government or you know, third, fourth wave feminism tell you, um, men are the most loving, generative creatures in the entire world. Men have women's best interest, the vast majority, 99.1%. Yes, there are cases of uh, men abusing women, et cetera, et cetera, but those statistics are far, far less, especially if you live in uh, more developed countries uh, than you guys may think. Men lead, men love. If I see a woman in the grocery store, as an example, because something like this happened as of late, and let's say, I don't know, her cart is stuck, right? Naturally, as a man, we will run over in flocks to help her. Right? Maybe, I don't know, her wheel's broken or or she's pushing it up a curb and like, I don't know, it's blocked on a stick and she's about to fall. Like, without doubt, or we'll hold open a door. This is in a man's blood, okay? Men are not oppressive. Men lead by nature. So by having a woman who is clean and can submit through the abstinence of tattoos, just being one small physical example, that definitely helps. Red flag number two, guys. Physical red flag. I mean, all of these are indicative to basically what I just prefaced the whole video with as men leading and we want women who are going to follow our lead, guys. That's really what it all comes down to. If a woman is not going to follow your lead or doesn't want to follow your lead, then that's fine, but that's not the woman for you. You don't want to deal with headaches, guys. She clearly doesn't want to be saved. She doesn't want to be helped. That's fine. She's essentially become her own man and wants to go into the world and, you know, venture herself, which is completely fine. But to me, it doesn't make sense because men, A, do a much better job and can, you know, kind of give you like a free ride um, for you just to be a woman. But... Again, women turn this down. Feminism doesn't make sense. It completely shat on itself. It's fucked over women completely. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Physical trait number two, guys. This is a lot of piercings and colored hair. <laughs> now, I'm basically kind of just summarizing feminists in a nutshell, guys. And again, all of this is indicative to women, which I actually I'll kind of give you a hint for the third tip. This is all indicative of women uh, becoming men. Right? When women have a lot of tattoos, guys, or they have colored hair, or I don't know, they have a lot of piercings, guys, you just, for the most part, 99%, yes, there are some guys that can be, actually, I'll be honest, no, I, I, I personally, I don't think so. Um, we're looking for women who want to be women, okay? Who can nurture and take care of our child. The next time you guys are with a woman, I just want you to envision, because a lot of times when these women do have colored hair and tattoos, they have no proclivity of becoming mothers. If your uh, wife or potential girlfriend has no interest in becoming a mother, or you do not see her fit to be a mother to your future child, then leave. I mean... It's, it's all fun and games, guys, you know, dating baddies and all these girls that are super rebellious and crazy until you think, like, can you be my wife and raise my child? And the answer to that is no. Um, and if that is your answer, which the majority of times it is because that's what our society is perpetuating, again, like I said, this is all a plot, then leave, okay? And tattoos and having colored hair and a bunch of piercings, guys, these are some of the biggest initial red flags. Now, look, I get it. And... I'm making this video to women because look, it's very trendy. I understand guys like, again, just because a woman has piercings or like tattoos, does that mean she's a bad individual? No, in fact, a lot of times they're not. But women, you have to understand, are very susceptible uh, to influence by our society. And that's why third and fourth wave feminism targets women because they're just that, they're susceptible, right? Satan spoke to Eve before Adam. Um, Adam would have smacked that snake and said, you know, get out of here. But Eve, you know, women are susceptible, so they they move into these things. And it's sad because a lot of times, um, and even statistically, I was just reading up, um, both men and women, uh, this is another fact to you guys as men, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't get tattoos personally at all. I, I know I wear a little bit of piercings, guys, but like, I can take these out and they'll heal up within a couple of weeks. Um... Yeah, where I was going with this, guys, is uh, statistically, a lot of individuals who get these things, they regret it when they get older. And it's sad because a lot of these women, they're so beautiful and pure at heart, and they make a poor decision by getting like these permanent tattoos because it's the cool thing to do on TikTok. And then not only does that completely decrease their chances of finding a high quality righteous man, but it just devalues them. And it's permanent at that point. And they don't even like mean to make that mistake. Again, it's just they're easily influenced. Uh, I get it. I've been young too, guys. We're very easily influenced. And I'm a man, and I'm if I'm easily influenced, I can only imagine. And then it's permanent. It's sad. So if you guys are young women uh, watching this, please don't make these mistakes. Like, be pure. Be as pure as you can. Don't dye your hair. Uh, don't get a bunch of piercings. Like, keep it very subtle, okay? Look like women. That's basically what I'm saying. Stop pretending to look like men. Um, again, there's a very small substrata of, uh, you know, hy hyper-masculine women, which is fine. That's cool. But the reality is, guys, is that that's a very small substrata, like 1% or 2%, and the vast majority of women now look like men. And that is uh, that did not just happen by chance. That did not happen because... 
Um, that's in a woman's blood. No, this was a plot and you all fell for it. As well as men. Men look like women nowadays. Anyways, uh, the third physical red flag, guys. This is kind of, you know, everything that ties it together. Watch the way a woman dresses, okay? Now, there are two main distinctions or there are two main uh, things I look out for when I look or view a way a woman dresses. Number one is she dressing very provocatively, okay? Now, both these physical ways in which they dress kind of imply the same thing, but number one, dude, if she's dressing very provocatively, guys, you know, at this point, please, I hope you guys, and I know you guys are smart enough to, to just notice this. I'm not saying you have to completely avoid them. I personally would, but again, Sometimes we just make mistakes, guys. We're easily influenced, and that's why this channel is bringing back order. It's bringing back tradition. You know, uh, we're all sinners, okay? And you can repent. You can cleanse yourself. I'm saying this to women. Like, guys, there's hope. You know, I know when I make these videos, it, it sounds very, like, degrading and judging, but it's like, no, we can change. We can change. Like, like cleanse yourself. Repent to God, you know? Um, so if she's dressing very provocatively, guys, um, I don't really have to tell you, right? She's looking for attention. This is just not the girl you want. This is not a woman who is going to be a great mother. And that's really all it comes down to, you guys. If you can just look at a woman when you're talking to her and envision her with your child, or if you cannot envision her with your child, there's your answer, right? And then the second uh, part two to the way she dresses, I noticed this, I have noticed this tremendously as of late, uh, which kind of brings everything together. Um, a lot of women dress like men nowadays. I don't know if you guys noticed this or not. I've noticed this like tremendously, the way they look, the way they talk, their vo bro, women's voices are deeper now. It's, it's scary. It's really scary. Like they literally resemble men nowadays. This was never, by the way, if you think I'm being like misogynistic, go back 50 years ago, there was no such thing as this. It did not happen, it was very rare. Um, but because of TikTok and social influence, women, again, they just look like men. They're dressing like men, they, 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 they walk like men, right? Part three is kind of, encapsulating all this together they talk like men they like they look at you like dude it's weird it's creepy just for a second the next time you're out in public okay and don't get me wrong there still are beautiful uh conservative women who are actually women but they're definitely decreasing in size a lot of women just look like men they talk like men they walk like men they wear baggy jeans like baggy clothes like men it's it's kind of creepy again guys look there's a small substrata of women who are more on the hyper masculine scale that's fine okay this video is not towards you guys but you have to understand that you are a small substrata you're not the vast majority of women um, who are by default feminine and they want to be feminine but because of social influence especially with gen z it's it's encouraged for women to be like men nowadays which doesn't make sense and it's encouraged for men to paint their nails and wear dresses which does not make sense it's a complete corruption uh ideological subversion uh to destroy uh relationships because i don't care what political idea you have if a woman looks like a man and a man looks like a woman you are not procreating together period maybe you're good friends and you claim to be dating um there will be no attraction when shit hits the fan I mean, you'll both revert to your natural roles and you'll realize that you were just playing make-believe. But even besides that, you're not going to have kids, okay? The way that works, and let alone be good parents, it just doesn't make sense. It's like a zebra being a giraffe and a giraffe being a zebra. You guys can play around with it as much as you want, but um, it only gets you so far. So that is that, guys. I know this video probably triggered some people. That's not my intent. Actually, to be honest, it probably is. This is all said with love though, guys. My whole purpose of this channel is to bring back order, it's to bring back hierarchy, it's to bring back tradition. This, believe it or not, helps both men and women um, tremendously. This is not a win-lose, this is a win-win. Women, I'm enabling you and giving you permission to be women again, which society tells you is a horrible thing for some reason. Uh, they're trying to corrupt your mind. And I'm telling you as men, it's okay to be men because that's how you create strong children, strong families, and therefore stronger society. So thank you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe i'll finish it here guys with the final plugs if you guys would like to work with me on a personal level you guys know the flex there was always one-on-one -on -one coaching which by the way guys if you are watching this throughout the entire month of august guys i have deducted my coaching and workshop prices by up to 40 percent i know guys i have never deducted prices this much ever before guys but i'm looking to take on around another 10 to 15 of you men guys a lot of my tiktoks and reels are starting to go viral so i want to get a whole new wave of you so for the last month of summer guys being august there is a massive sale already you guys are signing up just before this video i had another guy sign up so if you guys have 
ever been on the fence about one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching the workshop, it's both 40% off, guys. The prices have never been this low than ever before. I would strongly recommend you signing up if you're ready to take it to the next level, guys, and I'll finish it there. You guys always know that there's the course. I've made that very affordable to every single one of you guys already. No need to add an extra sale onto that, guys. You can go download the free half an hour version below before getting the full one if you are interested, guys, and I'll finish it there, all right? Self-developed army to the moon. You can support Edge. Come on, coupon code HAM and wearing that green military tank top, guys, about to go hit up the gym relatively soon. And that is that, okay, guys? Watch out for these three physical red flags. Again, guys, this is a woman with a lot of tattoos, a rebellious nature. She's coloring her hair, wearing a lot of piercings, and more importantly, generally speaking, just looking like a man. This is not a good wife. This is not a good mother. I know it looks super trendy and fashionable, on paper to the younger generation, but believe me, it gets our society nowhere because good mothers do not look like men. That's the father's role and good fathers don't look like women. That's a mother's role, okay? You can hate me for saying it, but uh, statistically, this is how it works. So thank you guys. Go use that sale below 40% off just for the next month or until spots fill up and that is it, guys. So thank you. Have an amazing day. Catch you next video with that. Much love. Peace.